Welcome to Life of Hair. My name is James Atkinson, and in this video, we're going to talk about a hotly contested topic low and slow versus fast and furious. Across the internet at the moment, everybody's going on about low and slow. Low developer for a really long time. Now, it's not that I'm a fan of either. Fast and Furious or Low and Slow, I think they're different things and they have different places. But lots of people are saying one is preferable. One will give you more lift. Never use 40 volt. We're gonna put this to the test today with a little science experiment. Here I have a big bundle of human hair cut from a client's head. What we're gonna do is we're going to put 10 volume, 20 volume, 30 volume, and 40 volume on different strands of this hair, on this foil down here, and then we're going to process them all for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, which is the maximum manufacturer's development time for the bleach that I'm going to use. Let's put the bleach onto the hair, and then we'll come back every 10 minutes to see how it's getting on and see what sort of a lift we're getting and whether low and slow is about breaking the manufacturer's guidelines, which in a lot of cases I'm seeing is, and that isn't necessarily very savvy, especially if something goes wrong. So let's just check out what happens and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Okay, all set up. Just to explain the setup a little bit. So at this end, we've got 10 volume, 20 volume, 30 volume, 40 volume. These are the peroxides I've used. And what we're gonna do is get them on as quickly as possible from 10 volume all the way to 30 volume. And then we will record the results every 10 minutes. Go. Okay, let's set a timer for 10 minutes on my phone, and then we'll come back and check it out and see what's going on. 10 minutes has passed, so we're gonna check the results at this 10 minute point, um, starting with the 10 volume, 20, 30, 40, and we'll see how they're lifting. This is the 10 volume result. We've probably got about one level-ish of lift out of that. With the 20 volume, we've got about one and a half levels of lift. We've probably got up to about level six. Uh, 30 volume, we're probably at pushing two levels of lift now, we're getting close to seeing some orange tones in that one, and then this is the 40 volume, and 40 volume we're definitely starting to see orange in there as we scrape it off, you can just see it getting quite ready orange. So. The 40 volume is definitely doing its thing faster, which we totally expected, but what we're gonna get after the 50 minutes processing, or even after 20 minutes processing. Let's leave it for another 10 and we'll come back. Another 10 minutes has gone by, so this is 20 minutes in total. So this is the 10 volume again. We're starting to see a little bit of orange break through there. Gentle lift, kind of approaching level seven. 20 volume, definitely seeing some more orange tones appear. So yeah, we've got the same sort of levels of lift. This one is slightly lighter than uh, the 10 volume, as we expected. And then again, exactly the same as we expected. This one's slightly lighter. We're definitely seeing orange come through now. And then we've got the 40 volume over here. So we're starting to see almost a level eight kind of effect uh, appear now. So these are the results after 30 minutes of processing. 10 volume is getting there slowly. Hasn't moved a huge amount since the last time we had a look at it. Uh, 20 volume is definitely starting to work now. We're seeing a sort of more orangey color. And 30 volume, we're definitely heading into the yellow orange realms. And then we've got 40 volume here, which is looking like a sort of yellowy, orangey blonde color. So let it process for another 10 and we'll come back. Okay, 40 minutes is up. Let's check the results. So 40 minutes with 10 volume. 
has got us up to a definite level seven. 20 volume, we're definitely kicking up to a level eight. 30 volume is getting us up to a good year or nearly pushing pale, pushing yellow. And 40 vol, we are in the yellow orange realms too. So 30 and 40 vol are pretty similar at this point in time. But there's a definite distinction between 10 and 20 volume. We've got 10 more minutes to process it, going on manufacturer's guidelines only. Okay, the results are in. So just to clarify the uh, experiment and how we went about it, all the products, all the bleach was mixed to a 1 point to 1.5 ratio. Everything was processed to 50 minutes, the manufacturer's maximum processing time with 10 minute intervals just to check up on how the colors looking at each point in the lift. So let's have a little look at how we got on down here. So here are the results. This is 10 volume down here. So you can see we got to level seven, quite a nice result actually, considering it's not got any toner on it, nothing else added, just a raw lift. So again, this is good where you could say low and slow will play a part. 20 volume, 20 volume, we're definitely seeing orange, a lot of orange tone come through there. Um, so that's really, really screaming at me. Uh, let's go over to 30 volume, less orange. We'll just see them side by side. Well, still very orange, but not quite so deep. Uh, so heading further towards level nine. Um, and then here we've got 40 volume, on its own, uh, you know, got that pale golden yellow result. Um, the starting point for this hair was really dark, level three. This is actually Asian hair. So, um, as you can see, the difference between the 30 and the 40 volume is definitely apparent. We've got probably another level of lift or so. If we look across the board at all of these results, we can categorically see that we've got 10, 20, 30, and 40 have all given us different results. Uh, some expected results there, because obviously the 10 volume lifted the least and the 40 volume lifted the most within the manufacturer's guidelines. This would make sense as to why they make 10, 20, 30, and 40 volumes. Now, I am no uh, low and slow. I'm not here to beat up low and slow. It definitely has its place. But don't forget, if we're going to break manufacturer's guidelines, then we're going to leave ourselves open to them not supporting us should something go wrong. Let's say over in the UK right now, there's lots of, where there's a blame, there's a claim, hairdressing claims going out there. And if you didn't necessarily follow manufacturer's guidelines and someone was looking to sue you because you'd snap their hair off and you'd used the low and slow method, you'd broken the 50 minute manufacturer's guidelines, regulations, rules, etc., then obviously you're going to be left open, dead in the water for them to sue you. So however you're doing low and slow, you really need to think, is this product, should it be on the hair two hours? because I've worked with colorists that do low and slow in that fashion. Now, don't get me wrong, I've done low and slow myself, but I always think that there's one thing to think about. Bleach is extremely alkaline. And the longer you leave the hair in an alkaline state, the more damage you will do. So by saying to yourself, I'm gonna use this 10 volume or 20 volume peroxide which is an extremely alkaline product still. The alkalinity doesn't change very much between 10 volume and 20 volume. I'm gonna leave it on the hair for a very, very long time. You may end up with cleaner results, less yellow, etc. But did you leave the hair in an alkaline state longer than the manufacturer recommends? These are questions you need to ask yourself whether we're looking at low and slow. Lots of people on Instagram, lots of people on YouTube advocating this low and slow process. But we do, do need to remember manufacturer's guidelines. I keep saying it, guys, because it is so important that we stay professional and we do use the manufacturer's guidelines because they're there for a reason. So I hope you found this insightful, my little experiment that I did down here, and that you took something away from it. Maybe you're looking at low and slow in a different way. 
Maybe you're looking at manufacturer's guidelines in a different way and you need to know your manufacturer's guidelines and you're not that au fait with them. But if you have any comments, you'd love to discuss this with me. I'd love to discuss this with you in the comments. Um, please get in touch. You know, this isn't a battlefield. I don't want to have an onslaught of I believe in low and slow and I believe in fast and furious. It's not about that. It's just looking at it from a somewhat scientific perspective and saying to ourselves, are we doing the right thing in this particular scenario? Remember, the longer the hair is in alkaline state, the more damage we do to the hair. The higher the volume, the more damage we do to the hair. So it's picking the right route based on your needs. If you've enjoyed it, then share this episode with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a thumbs up. And definitely, definitely chat to me in the comments about this one, because this is a really hotly contested topic.